thinking about it, this might be the final gold village video. Or I mean, I guess it really just like depends on you guys. If you like them and want me to keep making them, just let me know. Shut up. Stop talking. Just start the video. Yeah, okay. So we're doing every single hero in the game with the gold village. Just see how far it can get. Just like when I was doing the zero, zero, zeros, I'm going to try to do like the best placement I possibly can. I know nothing's going to be perfect, okay? I'm going to try my best and we'll definitely get Norman because we're going to need a lot of money. Because I mean, if you didn't already know, when you have 16 heroes and they're all competing for XP, yeah, you need a lot of money. You got to upgrade them manually. So the thing is, I have a lot of custom heroes. I was debating whether or not I should use them for this. The only one I'm going to be using is Norman just for farming. Like I have like a time master hero and I'm not going to be using those. Norman, one final time. Free farm right there. I'm thinking the best thing to do is probably get Benjamin next. I don't know if he's affected by the gold village. I don't think he'll get more money. Next, I think we want to go with Geraldo. Once again, it's not really going to be too efficient having him inside the village, but rather like his equipment inside the village. We'll just go like right underneath Benjamin. We can go ahead and get the... Uh, action figure i know i said i was gonna think about the placements but i'm just kind of putting these down wherever because with etienne at level eight everyone can see camo and that's what we want i know i keep putting them like right next to each other but i think having quincy right here is going to be the best place for him because if you didn't know his aim is fucking garbage he never hits anyone we need him in a straight line but there's a problem we need to put down a pool for brickle how about this we get the pool for brickle right here we sell etienne we rebuy etienne I don't know, just right here. Doesn't really matter that much. And then we get Quincy right here. It's not like a perfect straight line, but it's as good as it's gonna get, I guess. Brickle, you are down right there. I'm gonna want Azili pretty close to the start of the map. We'll go right about here. Put her on strong. For Sai, the placement really doesn't matter as long as it's inside the range. We'll go right here. Also put that on strong. Uh, I want Pat Fusty pretty close to the start as well. Maybe we can just put him right here. Squeeze down the big balloons, also on strong. Striker, Gwendolyn. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe Open's buff works on any other heroes, just on magic towers. So we can get him down right over here. And then once he's upgraded enough, we'll get the wall trees towards the end of the map. I think that's a good idea. Corvus, hate me all you want. I am not a fan. I don't know what it is. I don't like Corvus. Oh yeah, I forgot about the farms. We can get tier two upgrades now and banana plantation for all of these. So that leads us to one final hero, Adora. I need to test something. So the regular village is the exact same size as the golden village. So let's say we were to get it like right about here would we be able to fit adora inside here oh yeah plenty of room perfect adora you will go right there and that's gonna be saved for the golden village look at that that's everybody let me make sure one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen for right now i could get some of geraldo's shooty turrets but i want to wait until they're higher level because we have plenty of defense it's not gonna matter right now also really quick i have a mod that allows you to upgrade geraldo's shooty turret has 15 upgrades you can get it a 555 if you want to i just downloaded that today and if you want to see that just let me know it's actually pretty sick all right farm magic button number one ready shabam time for the monkeyopolis also round 40 came took care of it no problem like always we'll rebuy these farms magic button again ready bam even got the tier five so yeah now farms are looking great let's just uh save up for the gold village actually before we do that i'm gonna give everyone camo detection gonna need that round 60 first bfb we have a whole lot of abilities god damn go 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 wait what's pushing it back what is that oh is that the spooky totem probably ladies and gentlemen it is time hell yeah let's go if you're new here or you've never seen this mod before i'm going to explain what every upgrade does basically right now with no upgrades it gives everyone a sun god buff so yeah if you take a look sun god buff obviously the first upgrade true sun god village goes like that replicates the buff of a true sun god pretty self-explanatory i just bought a whole lot of tech bots as you can tell we're gonna need a lot of them so we can have all these abilities go by themselves this might take a minute you here you here so i bought 16 of them and we only have 15 abilities one of them is norman but i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna put a tech bot on norman and geraldo obviously doesn't have any abilities so i just wasted two of them but who cares so as of right now pretty much all these guys are either level six or seven so not too high yet but i want to see it against the first zomg round 80 all right here we go see how quick 
Yep, that was quick. <laughs> Let me test something. So if I get the Time Master Monkey and let's say I skipped like 10 rounds, oh, it does level them up. That is great. We'll skip up to round 99. I just want to see if these guys can take down the BAD and then we'll start upgrading them because they're still pretty low level. Most of them don't even have their second abilities yet. Like, look at this, DDTs. We're going to lose to some DDTs. Come on now. Okay, I guess we didn't lose to them, but it was close. <laughs> they're not that strong yet. Here we go, round 100, BAD early band-aid gonna take it down no problem hopefully there we go nice so right now it's looking like churchill and etienne are doing the most damage but i know late game it's gonna be adora zeely sai i think it's about time we start upgrading these things first things first sell the action figure 75k let's start with the zeely you are now level 20 adora you are level 20 sai yep same thing as of right now i don't think we have enough to get everybody level 20 but we will soon so it really doesn't matter who we upgrade right now gwendolyn churchill quincy okay yeah we have eleven thousand dollars save up some more and we'll get everyone maxed out It is round 123 and we now have a million dollars. I think that'll be enough. Striker, Sada, Geraldo, Benjamin, Brickle. So that is now everybody level 20 besides Corvus, only level 10, but I'll upgrade her over time. As of right now, our defense is looking pretty strong. I did this before. I did every single hero on one map at a time, but I did not use the Golden Village. If you didn't see that video, I got to round 221 is when I finally lost. But yeah, I was not using this village. I I'm assuming with this one, my guess is round. I'm hoping for like 400 or better, but I genuinely don't know. Let's see. All right, Corvus level 20. Now everybody's maxed. Now let's start upgrading the village. Next one, Vengeful True Sun God Village replicates most passive buffs in the game, including from heroes and energizing totem. Azili's totem, Brickle, like everything but we already have those doesn't really do much geraldo goodness essentially gives everyone jar of pickles but it doesn't make them attack slower just does more damage sharpening stone and invisibility potion so that one's nice we'll get that stacking simulator just spawns in a bunch of monkeys and they give like a shinobi and populus buff i don't think that works on heroes but you might as well try it it spawns in these little guys they don't attack or anything but yeah their buff doesn't do anything to heroes like i assumed like i always say this is where the magic happens the self overclock replica towers in range of the gold village gain 10 percent attack speed every round stacks up to 50 times so eventually everybody's going to attack 500 percent faster we got it on round 135 so that means round 185 we'll have the maximum buff there targeted buffs essentially turns the village into a perma brew splashes on everybody and also adds an ultra boost which is nice and we have a whole lot of towers to ultra boost so let's get started Oh wait, 140, fortified BAD. I didn't even notice. Gone in an instant. All thanks to Sai. Look at that. Shakes them up, knocks their noggin around, and they're gone. Here comes the second one. Gone. <laughs> that fast. I forgot about Geraldo stuff. I guess we might as well get down some turrets. We already have sharpening stone and everything, but we can get down the bunny. I like the bunny. It's getting frozen already. This is so fucking annoying. Let's get down a second gold village yes this one we're gonna go with the middle path includes support abilities adds all aoe buff abilities in the game includes side effect buffs like absolute zero for ice monkeys or level 20 striker kind of buffs adds 250 glue storm and firestorm sweet it's kind of the point where we don't need the farms anymore we don't have that much money but also we have pretty much everything maxed out now just these last two upgrades and brittle replica ability all balloons are affected by embrittlement and super embrittlement for the next 60 seconds adds another ability to our 50 abilities we already have and this one replicates the monkey power boost so 12 times 3 36 37 38 39 40 1 2 3 43 43 abilities so it's official we now have everything maxed out all the heroes are maxed both villages are maxed i mean we still have some more buffs to go because of like the uh, attack speed one you know but besides that everything's maxed <laughs> there's so much going on my game keeps freezing but i'm gonna speed it up now we're gonna get to around 183 that's when we're gonna have the maximum buff and at that point we can use the time master monkey and test out all the hard rounds 300 400 whatever it is we'll see All right, it's gotten to the point where the lag is just way too bad. This is taking too long. I'm just gonna use the Time Master Monkey now. Hopefully, when you skip rounds with it, it still works with the uh, 
you know, speed boost. I'm assuming it does because when you use the round skips, it still gives XP to the heroes. So hopefully it's the same deal. Look at this. I'm just frozen. It's so annoying. Round 199. This whole time I've been trying to ultra boost too, but it's been quite the struggle. If you can't tell by what's going on right now, I've been trying to ultra boost. I have like four heroes to 10 times, but that's it. Maybe I need to find a mod that allows you to just have like unlimited ultra boosts all the time. It's unbearable. I genuinely believe it's just the game that's making the lag. It's not my computer. Like if I had a $20,000 computer, I think I'd be in the same boat. It sucks, but it's just one of those games, you know, like this. Now that the round is over, there's no lag at all start it now it's around 200 Let's see how this goes we'll try to keep ultra boosting try to use abilities it's just so bad <laughs> look at this it's bullshit dude but yeah round 200 it looks cracked okay round 200 is gone we'll go 220 we'll skip one more round and that'll be round 221 which was as far as we got without the golden village hopefully you can take it down for that we also played on logs so completely different map not a fair one-to-one -one comparison but obviously with the golden village it's gonna do better it's gonna take care of this round here's where it gets fun we got some b80s as long as the outer layer is popped sai and azili will easily take care of cleanup so yeah it's just a matter of time of waiting I don't know what's going on. I don't know why we're so frozen. Well, we officially passed without the Golden Village. Now let's just uh, push the limits. Let's just start with 250. I want to go 300, but I don't want to lose. Let's do this 250. We're in the same boat of just being frozen. This is one of the reasons that I'm not a huge fan of using the Golden Village. It makes a game unplayable. Even if I'm using just like one tower, it'll start lagging like crazy. My game will freeze. My game will crash. It's so annoying. We're down to the final BAD. Getting taken down. Sweet. Before the round ends, let's go up to 300. If it'll stop freezing. Oh my god. God. There we go. Finally, round 300. Can we take it down? Just look at all the projectiles. It's ridiculous. There's so much going on. So far, this round doesn't seem too hard. Just a bunch of B80s. We got this. No problem. You guys cannot blame me. Trying to ultra boost like this. Look, I'm trying to move my mouse right now and I click on something. It just, it's so terrible. I take back what I said about this round's gonna be easy. Just a bunch of B80s. They're creeping up very slowly, but they are creeping up. This might be the end, folks. And honestly, I'm happy about it. This is unplayable. It really is. I don't know who's shooting right now. I don't know what's going on. All I know is that this is the end. It's our fate. BAD going through. There we go. Game over. Finally. Who did a lot of damage? So Psy was at 22 million, which is surprising because when I did it without the Golden Village, Psy had like... 80 million or 100 million or something but i think it's because of all the game lag and skipping so many rounds it's probably at 23 million 42 only 2 million from brickle 37 adora 42 so it looks like etienne did the most like i was saying i want to try this again using mods that like allow me to get everything super early but it's going to be the same boat in the end it's just going to lag my game out it's really dumb that it had to end like that but yeah it is what it is thanks for watching adios